I'm Seth. And I'm Chris. And this is JCR Tools. So uh, today we're going to be reviewing the Cobalt XTR series. I got the Cobalt XTR brushless. <laughs> oh my. 24 volt. Uh, currently got a 4 amp hour battery in the impact here. This is the quarter inch impact. Uh, I'm just got a 2 amp hour sitting in the drill at the moment here. Uh, also 24 volt XTR brushless. So we're going to be doing a couple of tests with these today, talking about a couple pros and cons, and uh, just kind of give like. our yeah, what we like, what we dislike, you know. Yeah, for sure. So let's just start with a couple of tests. Um, let's go with the impact. Let's hit the drill over here real quick. So I'm just using that three inch construction screw, the Bosch T25 bit. And yeah. we're just going to put it through a 2x4. Pretty much the most, uh, most basic screw you will use on the daily. And get it started a bit there. It's noisy. It's noisy. Instantly. Instantly it's noisy. That is the number one thing. Um, a little bit delayed response, I would say. It's not super snappy. It's yeah, not super snappy. That's a good one. Yeah. That's a good way to put it. Yeah. Let's get another one started. It's fairly quick. I mean, we haven't timed to the exact T, like some of Milwaukee, DeWalt, this, that, and the other yeah. big competitors. I would say it's a little bit behind a Milwaukee Fuel, a little bit behind like a Dual XR, but it's going to be the brushed versions. Probably with no problem, yeah. I would say. 10 out of 10, probably. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, other than noise, I mean, the impact, it's a pretty, pretty solid guy. Yeah, I mean, let me get that thing yeah. to go. Let me get my. Uh... My alone put on there. We'll have to say first note. Wait, I hate for the light to be down there. It's got to be up on top. It's just shining me right in the eye. Not a huge fan a of that. Point. And then also the uh, it gets blocked sometimes when you're doing some construction, you know. Yeah, yeah. I did notice as soon as I grabbed this, it is bulky. Yeah. It is bulky. It is very large. We don't know the actual dimensions, but it it just looks large, which is. Uh, not a great thing when you're working in tight spaces. And here we go. Not bad though, not bad. It's got some power, you feel the power in it. Definitely loud. You know, not a huge vibration on it when it uh when it goes to work, but honestly not bad. And this is a three quarter charge, four amp hour battery, so this is and this is actually the new ultimate output batteries that come with the XDR series. Mm -hmm. So there's a little bit difference in the size, design, and performance versus the regular Cobalt batteries on that. So let's actually switch out this battery. I'm struggling a little bit. <laughs> let's go ahead and put this one in the drill. Yeah. We got a brand new 3 8 inch drill bit, Milwaukee. <laughs> yes. Not that necessarily matters too much on that no. on this right here. This is a actually a hammer drill. So it's got you can switch the settings just right on top here. You rotate this whole kind of mechanism. So you do have the options for that. Mm -hmm. Which is nice and certain. Still bulky, no still, doubt about that. Still looks very large. Yes. It's it's got a little bit of heft to it. Let's just ram it. Let's just ram this in there. Really. No problem. No problem whatsoever. No problem whatsoever. I mean, that thing just went through like butter. New bit, that definitely helps, but the, the drill itself has the power behind it. You want to give it a shot? I'll, I'll give it a go. No. <laughs> Nothing whatsoever. It definitely, this definitely has the power that you will need to do about anything around your house, construction sites, anything. Yeah, and I can personally attest to these Cobalt XTR series. I've been using these for... Well, since the XTR has actually dropped, it's about... A couple months. Uh, no, it's been... The XTR has dropped about... Uh, I want to say about at least six months ago. Yeah. Uh, so they've definitely been through quite a bit. I mean, I've been using these daily uh, side jobs or working on my own house or working on our flip houses. <laughs> um, this, that, and the other. They've, they've been through a few things with me so far. So I can test. They've, they've been a pretty solid, pretty solid unit. Now, one of the best parts, I would say... 
some of the competitors are upping their warranties now because uh, Ridges they actually just went to lifetime lifetime on on the on the service <laughs> parts battery absolutely that insane. is impressive it's like the old fashioned craftsman right there <laughs> yes <laughs> but the Cobalts they have a five year warranty on which is still really good for really a power solid. tool yeah if you don't if you don't buy a new set of tools within five years <laughs> damn. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Surely, within five years, there's probably something better on the market at that point. Anyway, oh, but but they've been pretty solid so far for me. I did have the Cobalt Free XCR series. They weren't too bad. So this, these are definitely an upgrade, though. Oh, they definitely work. I, I can say that too. Yes. <laughs> yeah, using them a little bit off and on, or you know, mm -hmm. comparing them to some of the Milwaukee's. These are definitely an upgrade. Oh, um, absolutely. Any other comments? Any Pretty good. Uh, we can talk about price a little bit too. Yeah. Another annoying feature of the Cobalt <laughs> is it does not push lock. You actually have to pull back the little sleeve there to insert the bit. Yeah, that's a good point. A little annoying. Some of the, you know, like the, the M18 fuels and the Dual XRs. Yeah, they, they're just the push in there and you're ready to go. Yeah, that's a pretty, that's a pretty nice feature on those. Oh, sure. absolutely. But uh, to be fair, price-wise, which was our next point we're gonna get into, these do slot in b below the DeWalt XRs and the Milwaukee Fuels yes. by a decent amount. Yes, um, which is nice when, you know, you're not putting these things through the th ringer every single day, yes. push them to their limits. So I would say if we we're slotting these uh, consumer to pro lineup these are going to be for your serious diyers mm -hmm. your semi pros that's where yes. i would slot these at uh -huh. these are not going to be your full-time job but you know if you're if you're just hanging up some pictures around the house and maybe doing a little bit more than that yeah they're they're going to be overkill for sure for that but yeah <laughs> that's kind of in that nice you know, in between so, zone there for a serious diyer versus and maybe a semi Semi pro, you know, doing a concise job here and there, kind yeah. of deal. Um, price wise, you can usually get the Cobalt XCR series at the time of filming this video. Uh, you can usually get a set uh, for like usually on regular price four fifty. Um, so I can talk about that set just a little bit here. It actually comes with this ginormous carrying case, which is very but, nice, very very nice. nice. Yes, uh, and it comes with the reciprocating saw. The seven and a quarter inch circular saw, mm -hmm. the impact, quarter inch impact, the half inch chuck, uh, drill, as well as a flashlight, LED flashlight. It's actually pretty nice. Yeah. And uh, two batteries, uh, a two amp hour, and this nice XTR ultimate output four amp hour battery. Well, we'll have and to know, charge. batteries for Cobalt's dirt cheap compared to any other brand that I've seen. That is a good point, yeah. Very cheap, surprisingly. Yeah, because at the time of recording this video, they did recently up the price to thirty bucks for the two amps, but that's still half. The oh price. man, just about yeah. every competitor, mm -hmm. even some of the cheap brands yeah. don't have batteries that cheap. Oh yeah. So yeah, that's another really nice plus for that kind of mid-range person that's mm -hmm. value-oriented. I think it was a good value. Oh, absolutely, I believe in that too. Yeah, I think that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Drop anything you want us to review. We'll, we'll do it. We'll find <laughs> it. We'll get our hands on it. Till next time.